Mentioned birthday. Yeah. You just had one. I know. I don't really want to talk about it. I you don't? The big, turn the big 3 0, man. This is when they start talking about replacing you. No, you know what I'm not necessarily. But 30 is an interesting birthday wherever you are in your life because it's like a, I don't want to say it's a wake up call, but it's a little startling because you're like, I'm not in my 20s anymore. College is in the rear view mirror. High school is really in the rear view mirror. I got the wife and kids, I got that thing going. Is it that way for you? For me, um, the the age thing is just a number to me. Like, um, it's a, uh, I think, I mean, I woke up at 30 and felt the same way as I felt at 29, the same way I felt at 28. And um, it's humbling though. It's humbling when you've been able to play a game that a lot of people don't get to play into their 30s. And I think that's a, that was a really cool thing to kind of accomplish. Where is Taylor Lewan different as a person and as a football player at 30 than say you were at 22, 23? I'm probably a lot more grateful. I think um, my last two years of my career, a lot of guys, um, when they go through the two years that I went through with the PED in 2019 and then tearing their ACL in 2020, a lot of guys keep acting like they're on top. I just spend a lot of time on myself this off season in a place that wasn't fun. Uh, emotionally, mentally, and spiritually. And you know, in times of adversity, you really figure out who you are. And I figured out a couple things. I figured out that I'm way more grateful to play this game than I've ever been in my life. But I also know that you know, I can handle a lot of things and you know, take it on the chin and keep moving forward. The main word I keep running back to is grateful and humbled because you know, I'm still gonna be me. I'm still gonna you know, talk trash. I'm still gonna go play as, as hard. But I think a lot of fans will hopefully notice that for me, being on the field is a, is, a, is a gift I don't want to lose. And so I'm very happy. So it sounds like you have not only more appreciation for your football career, but it seems like you come into 2021 with more of a sense of responsibility, with more of a sense of purpose in terms of, of where you want to not only protect the left side of the line for the Titans, but also to kind of put yourself back on the mountaintop as the best left tackle in the NFL. Yeah, and I think, I mean, that's the goal every single year. I know I know what I'm capable of. I started last season, I only played five games. I know penalties was a huge deal for me. I had zero penalties in 2020. I had zero sacks in 2020. And it's just going back to what I know I can do. I think there's a lot of checks to be cashed as far as the success that I've put myself in or the opportunity to put myself in. What did your wife do for you in the process of coming back from the first, as you said, the first major injury of your yeah. entire career? When I played my first year, I was, I was, uh, I made the all-rookie team. I did start for the first six games. Michael Ruiz got hurt and I made all-rookie team. My second year uh, was an underwhelming performance. Three and 13, I know there's a specific game that I joke around with Paul Kaharski quite a bit that I got dummied by Whitney Merciless. There was a, a mood point for my career. How was that gonna look? And I remember it was, we had the first pick in the draft, and we were talking about Larry Tunsil. Draft Larry Tunsil. That's the guy, and we're going to move Taylor to right. Well, in my head, I'm not going to right. I play left tackle. I played left tackle since I was a senior in high school. And that offseason, I met my wife. When I met my wife, it wasn't about, like, I've dated other people, but there was no one I've ever met that was like her, that wouldn't put up with the BS, that was, she's literally been the rock the entire time. My wife is, she's like me from a personality standpoint. She jokes on people, she has, but there's a soft side of her. The way she is able to, her, her emotional maturity is beyond anybody I've ever met in my life. And her, for her to be able to look at things while I'm telling her something, well this pissed me off and I didn't like this, for her to look at it, dissect it, and usually starts with, well, what did you do? I owe my career to her, she is. back.